Dora the Explorer became every child's curious friend more than 20 years ago, and now her story is hitting the big screen. And joining us right now is actress Eva Longoria, who plays Dora's mom in the new live-action movie, Dora and the Lost City of Gold. Hi, Eva. Hi, Carly. How are you? Good. Thank you so much for chatting with us today. So uh, I want some of those Krispy Kremes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be sure to send some over to you. <laughs> so this Thank movie you. opens Friday, and it looks like so much fun. I mean, what are you most excited for people to see in this film? Oh, my gosh. I'm excited about the whole thing. Um, you know, they took this iconic cartoon and adapted it into a live action film. And so it's uh, in the vein of Indiana Jones and Tomb Raider. Um, and at the center is Dora, who is adventurous and fun and intelligent and brave. Um, they also, you know, it's not six year old Dora, it's 16 year old Dora. So we aged her up. And she's not only navigating the jungle, but navigating the jungle of high school. So she's kind of a fish out of water, has been in the jungle her whole life. Um, there's so many nods to uh, the original cartoon, um, you know, speaking to the audience. Can you say delicioso? Um, I, there's a, a bit of a cartoon in the middle of the movie. I don't want to give it away, but it's a really fun adventure. It's the first time I've been in a movie where the whole family can go. Mom and dad will love it. The kids will love it. Grandma and grandpa will love it. So it's a really, really fun movie. That sounds like so much fun. And, you know, we have to talk about your family, too. You bring them up. I hear that when <laughs> you were getting ready to shoot this, you had just had your son, Santiago, and you actually weren't planning on going yeah. back to work. Talk to me about that and why that was important no. for you. No, you know, Dora was such an icon uh, in my community, and then I realized she was a global icon to kids all over the world, not just for Hispanics. And so um, I, when they told me I was going to be playing her mom, and this was kind of an origin story, I just, I, I had to do it. But Santi was two months old, and we flew to Australia in the rainforest and the jungle of the Gold Coast and filmed this movie, but it was great. I mean, I was breastfeeding and not sleeping, but... We did it, we got through it, and the movie's amazing. <laughs> That's an experience, just ex bringing your baby to the jungle, right? <laughs> yeah, and that was fun. And I'll always see Dora, I'll always look at this movie with just this beautiful memory of, of having Santi with me the whole time. He's such a cutie. How is he? He's amazing. He's walking, so I'm in trouble now. <laughs> um, but he just started walking. He says mama and papa. Um, he's really funny. He's just a funny kid. Oh, how has becoming a mom changed you? What's your favorite way that it's changed you? Oh, gosh. I mean, it's changed everything in every way. Um, you know, I'm a multitasker at heart. And so when people go, oh, my gosh, your whole life, like, gets, you know, crazy. I'm like, no, it actually is better because I... Uh, my brain operates this way of like, I like a schedule and, and you know, he's on a schedule and, and when he eats and when he sleeps and when he naps and when he wakes up and when he has his bottle and, and I love that. Like I need order in my life. So having a child like kind of makes you do that if you're not used to that. But for me, it's like, yay, <laughs> order and multitasking and doing a hundred things at once. That's, that's my, you know, everyday life. Well, it's um, but no, he's, just, you know, waking up with him and going to sleep with him are my favorite times of day. Oh, that sounds like such a, dream um, and let's talk about Australia for a minute too how did you like living there and did you try Vegemite or any other foods that you hadn't had before uh, <laughs> yes I tried Vegemite and it was disgusting I don't know why they eat that um, <laughs> I couldn't uh, agree it more. was amazing you know we were in the we were in the north um, and like I said in the rainforest so like everything you see in the movie is real there was bugs and spiders and snakes and um, you know they kept telling us okay just be careful and uh, you know don't you know wear your boots really high and here's this tick machine to you know give off a frequency so animals don't come near you and I was like is this are we going to die? <laughs> Do you get freaked so out by creepy fun. And it makes all the, Yeah, creepy crawly things. You know, Australia has like nine of the deadliest snakes in the world or <laughs> eight of the deadliest spiders. And I'm like, and we're there, like right there where they live. <laughs> <laughs> Roughing it in the jungle. Well, thank you so much for chatting with us today. We can't wait to see Dora in the Lost City of Gold. It hits theaters thank you. this Friday.